Hey art friends, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different for this daily sketch. I got my little boy with me. Well, not little, right? Not little. You're not little. No, I'm not. I got Chuckers with me. Yeah. You're gonna do this sketch with me. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's way cool. So you, the reason why I was gonna have you do this with me is because we've been getting a lot of comments from our art friends saying that they want to know how to do the same the same sketch I'm doing for the daily sketch challenge. And if our, if our friends at home don't know what this is, this is a sketch challenge that I've challenged myself to do a drawing every single day, right? And mm -hmm. I post it up on, on YouTube every day for a full year. And so I'm really excited about it because I, I feel like I'm getting better. And I wanted to share it on YouTube so that we would challenge other people to do the sketches with me so that they could get better too, right? Yeah. But since they've been wanting to know how to do this, I thought this would be a good time to have you do it with me <laughs> and I could show you. So we're still going to fast forward a lot of it, but I'm gonna, we're going to stop every once in a while and we'll talk about what we're doing, okay? Okay. So what we're using is ebony uh, from Prismacolor. This is an ebony pencil and it's really cool. It's uh, jet black is, the X, is kind of the name of it. And the reason why I like using this, these pencils is because you can, you can do really light stuff, but you can do really, really dark stuff with it too. And then it shades really well. And then this is called a blender or, or a, a blender nub or stub or something. I don't know. It's, it's a piece of paper that's rolled up and then it's sharpened on one side. And then we use it so that we can, so we can blend stuff and get kind of a 50% gray with that. And then yours is brand new, so we're going to have to get it a little dirty so that it will actually work. And then we're also using a kneaded eraser. And this is this is really cool eraser that I love using because when it gets dirty, you can stretch it and then it cleans up and you can start over almost like a brand new, a brand new eraser. And also the reason why I like this is because you can um, get a point on the end of the eraser like that. And then that's how I do little fine erasing. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you ready to do this? You excited? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna do a tiger and we're leaving, we have an image that we picked out. It's on our computer and our art friends can't see it, but we're looking at it. And that will leave a link so that our art friends can actually click that link. It's in the description of this video and you guys can click on it so that you can look at the same image that we're using. All right, did you, you ready? Yeah. So the first thing that I always do is I always start with a really light drawing. And this is just a line drawing, and it's just to lay out all of the different things that we're going to shade and draw on the cat, okay? Okay. So usually I start with a center line. So we're going to start with just putting a line. And did you notice I'm holding a pencil different? Like that? Yeah, I hold it like this so it's a little easier to just move your wrist. When you hold the pencil like this, usually you put your hands flat on the paper, and then it's hard to kind of move it around. So when you hold it like this, it's almost like holding like a paintbrush. You can, you can get a nice... A nice light line cool and then we're also going to do a cross line and this is where we're going to put his eyes okay so that this is the center of our cat and then this is where his eyes are going to line up awesome okay now we're going to fast forward the rest and what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly sketch in all the different parts of the cat's face okay okay all right So awesome keep going while I keep talking okay? okay so we're gonna we're gonna stop fast forwarding for a little bit and talk to our friends so what we did was just we outlined everything huh mm -hmm. so I threw some stripes in there you can keep working on keep working on that ear and we did some searching so that's a nice thing about using really light lines is that where you keep looking at our drawing back and forth right yeah. and we line up all of the things that we see on the picture down on our drawing so we used uh, the center line to make sure that we were balanced. So we, we want to make sure the eyes are the same distance apart. And we could work on this little eye over here mm -hmm. a little bit, huh? And then, so we so we used those to kind of set up the eyes first. And we put the nose in there. And then we came down for the mouth. And then we split it. And then we made sure that the cheeks came out right in line with where they kind of show up on, on the drawing. Or sorry, on the photo. 
this outside edge right here on the cheeks, that's what we were kind of working with on yours, is to see where they come. And they came almost outside of, the, outside of the eye. So those are some of the things that we're looking at, right? Mm -hmm. And then also we're just making sure that the nose is kind of the right distance down so that this spacing is right, this spacing is right. And we just use the light lines to make sure that we kind of get it in. And then we can erase stuff if we need to move it. Yeah? Yeah. So when I first started, I had the eyes way out here and out here. And so I moved them in a little bit closer because they're not that far apart, huh? So this eye is pretty far apart. Yeah. We could also, we can move that eye in, I think, just a little bit. You want to move it in so that it's lined up right about there. Yeah, just like that. And then you can erase this guy. And that's looking good. You're getting those stripes in. And then you can use the symmetric, the, the line, so that they're kind of symmetrical on both sides and balanced. Good job. Okay, you know what the next step is? What? The next step is, um, well, we can probably erase these guidelines. So we can go through and erase some of this. The, the lines that we use to, to measure stuff off of so that they don't show up when we're shading. And we're going to start shading with our really light. We're going to start shading with our really light um, blender and just throw in some really quick shadows. Because you have a brand new uh, blender, I'm going to load it up. And all I did was get a scratch piece of paper and put some, um, some marks on it. And then we can just load it up so that it's easier. Now when you when you put it down, it, it'll have a little bit on there so that you can actually use it. And then the more you use it, it'll it'll work better and better the more you use it. Okay? Good job, checkers. Okay, we got kind of that really light layer in and what our art friends have probably noticed when they're watching some of the old the, the other videos that I've already uploaded is that I switch back and forth between this guy and this guy a lot and then I also um, I really I like to build it up so sometimes I'll go right to the black but usually I really I like starting light and then building on top of it so this is a good layer to start with and then if you start light and then build darker and darker it allows you to adjust and correct things Okay, so the next step, I'm actually, I want to do the darks because there's a lot of cool darks on this cat. Cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got his eyes that are really dark. I'm going to start with his eyes and then we'll move to his stripes and then we'll uh, do a little more shading after that. Okay? Okay. All right. That's a good point, Chucker. So you were saying some of the strokes that I'm doing are a uh, different direction than you're doing. So one of the things that I'm trying to do is go the direction that his fur is. So the fur on his, on his forehead is going up and the fur on his cheek is going out this way. So I didn't do it on all of them. Some of these are going the wrong direction on mine, but that's okay. Um, but the idea is so that the, the stroke or the texture that you're leaving with the pencil looks like fur, right? Yeah. So if you're doing a stripe like this, it's going to look like he combed his hair that morning and used a brush and wet it down, right? <laughs> and, and straightened it out the wrong direction. But Tiger, this fur is naturally going up on his forehead. So that's why I'm trying to do it in that direction. Yeah. Yeah.
checkers, let's put another layer of shading on there, okay? So we got some of that orange in here. We're just gonna go around the outside of his head. We're not gonna worry about his nose right now, okay? So he's got a white patch, and we wanna make sure that we don't cover up that white patch. But now that we have all of this, uh, the dark stripes in there, this shading is gonna work really well, and you don't have to press too hard. So we wanna start really light, and we're gonna come around here, and then he's got white down here on his cheeks too. So we wanna make sure that we leave that. So it's really white around his eyes. You see that? Yeah. And then we're gonna come up here around his ear, up around his ear, and we're gonna shade that in. And we could probably go the same direction as his fur too. We'll make sure that we're making it look like fur. And we'll come up here and we'll do the same thing. We can blend this, blend the front of his forehead. Now I'm gonna do a little bit, a couple extra layers right down the middle of his forehead because it's kind of darker. It's all of his fur comes together and it gets a little darker right here in the middle. Okay, and then we'll come back over here, keep going around. We're gonna leave that white patch that's right over his eyes, come down over here, and then under his eyes right here. We want to make sure that you leave that white under his on his cheeks too. Okay, and then also up here on his ears, his ears are orange. So we're gonna shade those in. And he's got that little white patch that's right up here. And the other thing too is I, I like to use my finger a lot when uh, when I'm blending, and I feel like sometimes that gives me a little more control than this does. And it's sometimes I think more fun. <laughs> Get your finger all dirty. <laughs> we're gonna do a few more layers on yours okay yeah. so some of the things that we want to make sure that we're doing when we're when we're adding the shading is that our blacks stay really really black and our whites stay really really white and do you know what that's called on our drawing uh, black and white when you put them together it's gray <laughs> gray <laughs> yeah you add them together add, it makes gray it's actually called a contrast so when you have really dark darks on your drawing and you have really white whites that's called contrast and contrast usually makes an awesome drawing. So when you have really cool shadows and really hot, hot highlights. And so that's one of the things that we wanna make sure. And when you're shading and you're using um, a pencil, the hardest thing to try and keep your drawing from doing is getting muddy. And you know what muddy is? Muddy is when everything kind of starts blending together. And let me show you your hand. So when you're, when you're working with this stuff, it's really easy to get your, your hands all, all dirty and it's easy to drag everything through it. So one of the reasons why I like using the pencil like this is it helps keep your hands from being on your drawing and smudging it and getting it kind of all muddy. So let's, we're going to do a couple things on your drawing to help clean it up a little bit, okay? okay? It looks awesome, don't get me wrong, okay? But that's one of the things we work on, huh? So we're just practicing, right? Mm -hmm. You're still having fun. Yeah. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. So we're going to clean up. So let's do a little, we're going to do a little uh, erasing and we're going to do a little more darkening. Okay. Okay. And then we'll tighten it up and then we'll be done. Kay. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to fast forward a little bit more, but all we're going to do is do some more layering. Okay. Okay. All right. job this is your first time huh yeah you can be super proud of your drawing you did such a good job man i'm really i'm really proud of you too and this was a lot of fun doing it with you we got to do this more often don't you yeah. think <laughs> i think the fun thing about this was that we did it together i i really like drawing by myself but i love drawing with you yeah it's one of my favorite things to do but so so one of the things so let's just uh kind of summarize what we did okay so we did the first step we did uh light lines to set up our drawing right we yeah. did the center line and we lined up the eyes. And then be, right after that, after we got everything kind of um, uh, sketched in there really quickly, then we used uh, this, uh, the blender to put in the light colors, right? To put in the oranges and kind yeah. of box in the mid tones. And then after that, then we went right to the dark and we put in the dark tones. And then after that, we started layering more shadows on top of that. And then the last thing we did is we cleaned it up to make sure that it didn't look muddy, right? Yeah. I gotta do that all the time too. I wanna make sure that my drawing doesn't look muddy and that it looks, what's that word we learned? Uh, what's this yes, contrast. contrast. Yeah, we wanna make sure there's a lot of contrast in our drawing. So we went back in and we erased some of the white so that they look really white, right? Yeah. So we made sure that it's white hair, right? White on his, uh, the patches over his eyes. And then we also went back in with the dark and made sure that the stripes were really dark. Yeah? Yeah. So that's the important thing to do is just make sure there's a lot of cool contrast with our shadows and highlights. Yeah. Promise you had fun? Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> well, I think your tiger looks super awesome. We need to take a, a cool picture of him, okay? Okay. Should we say goodbye to our friends? Bye, our friends. See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, bye.